Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI and it is hunting season, it's upon us, right? It's, it's actually been here for a little bit, but I don't know when you're watching this either. This could be in the summer, but it's time to hit the woods and hunt small game, big game, whatever your sport might be, whatever your flavor might be. But one thing you need to make sure you do is make sure your stuff is sighted in, your firearms are, fi are sighted in and make sure you have checked your gear, all right? So let's talk about that real quick. All right, I've talked about it in other little videos and stuff, hunting with friends, hunting with family, guns not sighted in, bad things can happen. It's not the best day in the world, right? So we've kind of already hit that before as far as making sure your gear is, or your gear, your, your scopes, your optics, your firearms are sighted in. Something else you need to do is make sure your gear is set up for how you need it, right? Wear your gear. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to walk around your neighborhood all get it up like this. But it doesn't it does mean you need to put your gear on and make sure it fits this chest rig that i like to wear if i take off my hunting garb right and stuff it's not going to fit the same way that it would with just a t-shirt whereas it, or, or as as it would if i had a big old jacket on right i got to adjust stuff and that can take a lot of time when you first get out in the field um, you're getting all your stuff on you could take an extra 30 minutes to set up your sling you know make sure everything's on your person, how it needs to be, load up your, your backpack or your chest rig, whatever it might be. It takes time to do that. Do that beforehand. It's just smart stuff to do. And a lot of people overlook it. They just throw everything in the truck and then sort it out in the middle of the morning, or in the early morning, three o'clock in the morning, in the middle of a field somewhere and it's dark and they can't do it. So it's not very smart. So make sure your stuff works. Also, if you have things like this, like a, like a firearm stuff, make sure that you can actually draw the firearm. And it's not getting hung up or snagged up on stuff. I know for me, if I have to draw this, I need to hold this down. If I try to draw it, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. It tries to pull up. It's not tethered down. That's a downside to this system. But if I put my hand here and hold everything down, then I can draw it out. That's just a little case in point. Something else, this sling works on this gun, right? But on my hunting rifle, my 30-06, this, the sling I have on there is not designed or made for a 30-06. It's made for, it's a tactical sling. It's not made for this kind of carry. And I know that, and that's something I'm working on, but I know that that's something I need to work on. Whereas if you don't know that and you get out in the field and you try to use your stuff and it's just not working, it can turn a, a potentially good hunt into just a miserable experience. So again, make sure your stuff's sighted in, make sure you check and test your gear, make sure nothing's broken, right? You don't wanna get out the field and have broken stuff. Make sure your stuff is good to go before you head out there, and then you can optimize your time out there hunting and not fiddle farting around with all your gear, all right? Caleb Downing with SDI, hope you found that helpful. Catch you next time.